Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Champions League Fantasy Football and welcome to my video. In today's video, I want to look at my team going into the quarterfinals first leg. So here we go. Now, for the round of 16 second leg, I made a big, big mistake. I went and captained Salah instead of Lewandowski. As you saw on my previous video, I had my captain option on Lewandowski, but in the video itself, I changed it to Salah. That was a big mistake because Lewandowski got himself 24 points. So I'm basically 24 points behind. And the league and stuff like that, I have dramatically dropped. Dramatically dropped. And I did say, like, it, this could happen. Um, you know, we had a... Like I had a really good uh, group stages, um, you know, I got inside the top 5,000 and got nearer to the 1k mark and then these two legs absolutely destroyed me. But, you know, these things can happen, right? Sometimes you make a, the, the right choices and, you know, from the group stages I have and I did. And then, you know, going into the round of 16, it's just, yeah, it didn't turn out well. I, I lost good captain options and in and this like um stage captain options you know captain returns are massive so anyways let's move on that was the biggest mistakes there um as you can see not many of my players actually uh did well except for Lewandowski you know Sane with tw uh, 14 points there fantastic for him scored one uh, one goal two assists uh, balls recovered as well Danjama uh, got a goal like what what a player what a cheap player to have as well um and and as you can see nothing else um cancelo was zero Foden was zero i made a mistake by bringing in james really early that was another mistake of mine um i think it's just because i'm not i haven't been concentrating that well as well uh, in the last couple of weeks um and you know that's showing how it's affecting my uh, premier league uh, game as well Anyways, let's move on. Let's move on. Things happen, right? Um, a lot of things go through our lives and, uh, you know, there's always a hiccup. So let's go through and let's have a look at this. So there's two legs. There's the first leg and the second leg, right? So the first leg, we've got Manchester City against Atletico. Now, I haven't checked any, um, uh, what's it called? Like who's going to start, who's injured and stuff like that. Um but this will tell us exactly who's going to start. I think Cancelo and Bowden, you know, these two players are has got a high chance to start. So I'll have to do some, uh, you know, research on some press conference. But hopefully uh, it should be fine. Now for this, Manchester City versus Atletico. It would be nice to get an Atletico Madrid player. But I think Manchester City at home is going to be very, very strong. Benfica versus Liverpool. I know Benfica like has done well, but Liverpool is just going to be too strong. They just got so many players that could hurt Benfica. All around Liverpool's like players is just too just, just too strong. So looking at this, I can see maybe Salah doing really well if he starts. So he is pretty much going to be my captain. Um, I think for Atletico, it might be quite difficult because Atletico is a very uh, defensive... Um, well, they're, they're probably going to play really defensive against Manchester City anyway. So, But then you just never know what can happen uh, at Manchester City. Um, for here, we got Chelsea versus Real Madrid. A massive, massive game. I already have two players from Chelsea. I could even go and get Havertz, but... I think I need a, a Real Madrid player, you know, just, just in case. I just need a Real Madrid player just in case. I'm looking at Benzema. I just need to see if he's fit. If not, I'm looking at another striker. I have to just uh, do some research and I'll see what my options are. Real, Real versus uh, Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich is pretty much um, hands down. Should do well here. Plus at home. So if we go to the second leg... As you can see, this is a very good um, fixture for them, even though Real Real has done really well. Liverpool as well. So I'm thinking to like, you know, triple and, you know, like add a fourth um, player from Bayern Munich and Liverpool. So these are the teams I'm kind of like focused on. So 
Um, let's have a quick look on my team. So we've got Jota, Lemondowski. Um, the strike force is okay. As you can see, Haller is out. So I need to uh, remove him because he's 9.5. There's a lot of money there. Um, so Salah is going to be my captain. Sane there as well. Danjama. Foden. So I think I have got all of the main players that I need to have in my team. I'm looking at maybe another midfielder as well. So what my first thoughts are is to remove these three. Maybe not the goalkeeper. I don't have to get another goalkeeper. So I'm looking to maybe invest in my transfers for like attacking um, spots. So there's at least two transfers that I need to make right now. Is Alvarez and Haller. And then we'll see. If I find out like towards the, uh, the deadline that one of my players might be injured or might not play like Trent did not play in the in the weekend so there might be issues there so I have to look so first stop first thoughts is I'm definitely going to remove Alvarez and definitely remove Haller and if we look at the fixtures um, and we look at the players Benzema is a player that I'm definitely looking at I just need to figure out and I just need to see if he's fit and ready Muller could be a big differential option, guys. 6% could be the way to go. There's Junior and Greens and Grinzima, um, Diaz. If we find out that Diaz might start, he might be the one to kind of go for. I'm going to be looking at these um, like lineups, and I really want to bring in a, another Liverpool player. But as you can see for forwards, Jota uh, is there. So I could bring in Diaz as well and like kind of like double and like a trip, uh, you know, just basically add an additional a striker there to help me out. I could do something like that. I could try something a little bit different. Um, I just need to see the percentage of these players and then go from there. So these are the things I'm looking at. If if Jota does not play, then yes, I will remove. Um, I probably will bring Benzema and probably Muller to be honest with you guys. But then I got 2.4. It's not enough. So I need to look at another midfielder. If we look at the midfielder, there's there's Mares, there's Jorginho, there's a lot of the uh, Real players that could do well. Coleman, Silva. So if we're looking at all of these stuff, right? If he if Silva starts, maybe he's the one to gonna go for. So as you can see, my options is is it, I'm kind of limited in a way as well. It's quite difficult because I've got six point six for the striker spot. It's not that good, but. We, we will see. I think definitely another Manchester City player, another um, Liverpool player, um, maybe Muller could try my luck one. Um, I'm looking at differentials. So these are the players that I'm looking at, guys. I'm not really looking into another defender. I think I've got quite a lot of good defenders that could do well. James could be on. I'll have to see if anyone's fit and ready. But other than that, I have to say, I think it's all about waiting to see that deadline. But yeah, I think that is uh, pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope this video has helped you. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.